Looking forward, we have new technology that's even better than I've told you about. We have a molecule called NAD that turns on a whole family of protective enzymes called the sirtuins. Um, there are seven of these. We've got molecules that can raise the NAD levels back up from, young, uh, from old to young again. Um, the way we do it is we give a molecule called NMN, which is a, a precursor molecule to NAD. So if you feed this or inject this into mice, the low levels of NAD when you, they're old go back up to young levels. Um, and in, in humans, what happens is we get older, our NAD levels fall down, and our ability to protect ourselves goes down as well. Um, and so what we found was when we gave mice in it, this NAD boosting molecule, aspects of their aging were reversed in just one week. Uh, we looked at their muscle, and, uh, and so Lindsay Wu, who's here, uh, Jonas W helped us with that study, and, uh, and Nigel Turner here, also from Jonas W, we were able to show that at least for muscle, it's very easy to reset aging. It only took a week, as long as you know what to give. And I think this is the beginning of a new era in aging research, where we can not just delay aging, but reverse it. And uh, you know, people catching on, reversing aging, it's not as crazy as you might think. The lab at UNSW is pressing forward. We, we've been, uh, not criticized, but challenged, because this all sounds too good to be true. Maybe NMN and NAD will cause cancer. Well, here's research from Lindsay's work. If you feed mice that, have, that develop liver cancer, on the left, you can see these little dots here. These are, these are tumors that will kill a human pretty quickly. These are liver cancers. And if you just put NMN in the drinking water of these mice for a few months, you barely see any tumors. So this is not a tumor-promoting molecule, in, at least in liver cancer. So we're excited about this research, not just from an aging perspective, but ability to really prevent and treat major diseases as well.